Climate change is the greatest challenge of our time. It impacts urban areas, the home for half of the global population, in various ways. Heat waves, sea level rise, droughts, flood and landslides are the most visible effects. Despite contributing the least to these changes, it is the urban poor that will bear the brunt of climate change as it threatens their already vulnerable opportunities and livelihoods. Adapting to climate change is crucial and partnerships with cities and urban poor communities are key. Cities Alliance is supporting local initiatives in informal settlements across cities of the Greater Horn of Africa and the Bay of Bengal, two of the most climate-prone areas in the world. Here are their voices. One of the supported informal communities in Korogocho in Kenya, housing close to 200,000 people. Residents are vulnerable to climate impacts, such as diseases, and damaged homes, but they lack access to information and don't know how to fight these hazards. The answer? Finding climate solutions through the art of storytelling. Stories are impactful, stories are personal, so if it matters to you, then it means that, it, that it, you, you're ready to do something about it. The Future Yetu project uses digital storytelling as a way to spark dialogue between residents and policymakers on climate interventions. Storytelling workshops empower residents to identify climate challenges and solutions, crafting them into stories hosted by an online portal. One thing I've come to learn that people have different versions of their own storytelling through the digital platform. Community members, urban planners and county officials respond to these stories by contributing with adaptation ideas and prototypes. That we're able to bridge the gap between policy, policy makers and, and, and all the strategies and plans that we have and really bring that to the core by really listening to the community's voice and making changes that really would impact them because they bear the brunt of climate change each and every day. Future Yetu will continue engaging the community through storytelling and mobile exhibitions to create a climate adaptation manifesto and inform the first Nairobi climate adaptation plan. And uh, together we can. Together we have the power to, that we can talk, we can engage with policymakers. We can come up with a win-win uh, um, message or win solution to our common challenges. The amplification of community voices is the basis for the success of Future Yetu. The strength of the community bond is also vital for another project being implemented in Uganda. The Bawais urban slum in Kampala is regularly affected by floods. Poor disposal of garbage and waste is a major cause of flooding, especially in urban slums like Bawais. This garbage ends up uh, in the inadequate drainage channels, blocking them and causing flooding. Whenever floods come and our channels get blocked, it means that this garbage will come back to, the, to our homes. That can even expose us to so many diseases. The Waste Management for Flood Control Project aims to improve Bawais' resilience through proper waste disposal behaviours. This is being done through practical learning sessions and waste collection in 1,000 households. We have raised awareness on appropriate waste management and in this way we have trained people on how to sort their waste and also uh, find value in it. Community members are now finding value in their waste. <laughs> The briquettes can be used for cooking uh, in the homes of the various participants, but also some can be sold off uh, to the market to generate some income. Community members are 
oba bine ebisigadde nti oba bikuto babichi so bikola mu amanda kubera ga amanda tugafumbisa no gatunda tugatunda the project also aims at benefiting the environment in the long term so we are looking at briquettes as a solution of reducing pressure on trees in the long term as well in collaboration with city authorities, the project will also advocate for better drainage systems. To increase awareness and request that these low-lying communities like Waise have adequate drainage channels. They are designed in the most proper way that can facilitate the runoff of water without creating flooding for these communities. Thanks to the community's engagement, the wastes will become less vulnerable to floods. Halfway around the world, communities in the Bay of Bengal, Bangladesh, are also battling rising waters. There, Babadon Sango, a women-led NGO, is galvanizing the power of youth and community to upgrade climate resilience in these vulnerable areas. প্রধান উদ্দেশ্য হলো নারীদেরকে সংগঠিত করা তাদেরকে তথ্য দেওয়া তারা যেন পৌরসভার জনপ্রতিনিধিদের সঙ্গে কাজ করতে পারে to engage with the community and tap into their perceptions. The project promoted community meetings and consultations. আমরা নারীদের নিয়ে নিয়মিত উঠান বৈঠকে বসেছি এই উঠান বৈঠকে 20 থেকে 30 জন নারী উপস্থিত উপস্থিত থাকে আমি উঠান বৈঠক ট্রেনিং এ অংশগ্রহণ করছি এবং সচেতন হইছি আমার মনের কষ্টের কথা বলার একটা জায়গা পাইছি কথা বলতে পারবো সেই জন্য আমরা তরুণদের জিও ওডিকে প্রশিক্ষণ দিয়েছি এই প্রশিক্ষণের মাধ্যমে তারা মোবাইল ব্যবহার করে খুব সহজে হ্যাঁ আমরা এই প্রকল্পের মাধ্যমে 765 টি বস্তিবাসী নারী প্রধান পরিবারের কাছ থেকে তথ্য সংগ্রহ করেছি আমরা এই তথ্য সমূহর মাধ্যমে ডিজিটাল ডাটাবেস ও ম্যাপ তৈরি করব যা স্থানীয় জনপ্রতিনিধিদের জন্য কার্যকর একটি তথ্য হিসেবে কাজ করবে জলবায়ু পরিবর্তনের সময় পরিকল্পনা গ্রহণের জন্য খুব জরুরি ভূমিকা পালন করবে এর মাধ্যমে অর্থনৈতিক সামাজিক ও দুর্যোগপূর্ণ সমস্যার উপকার হবে all these projects are connected by one thing, the strength of communities facing a common challenge. The bonds that unite a community are the same that can turn them into transformative units of action, taking and shaping their future in their hands to their own accord. Together, we, we, we bring our voices, we raise our voices, we amplify our voices, for what is challenging our lives, what is threatening our, our survival.